Because it's your girl. Turn the fireplace on. Sit there with coffee, hot cocoa, or some liquor. A mixed drink, a cocktail. That's depending on what day it is or what time of day it is. That's my vibe. I'm trying to eat, watch a movie, relax. I don't want to be on that. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody trying to be on that. <laughs> Unless I don't have a choice, which happens sometimes. How are all our nieces and nephews? Oh, everybody's good. Kaya's doing, she's doing fine. Her rash is clearing up finally. Uh, yeah, hit that like button, y'all. I'm ready for New York. I'm ready to go to New York too. That's been like the topic of discussion. Like, that's it. I'm, we just focused on, <laughs> I am ready to go. I am so ready to go. I really wish I could bring all the kids with me because, you know, that would be like a really good experience for, for all the kids. But um, it's really a business trip. It really, really is a business trip. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. But I was thinking about maybe taking Cadence with me. She, she's been asking me to go to New York for a minute. She actually asked to go to New York for her birthday this year. And, um, but she asked me like, the week before her birthday and I was like mm, let's not but I will keep it in mind we'll sneak away one weekend and go so I might bring her with me um it just really depends because she can't come to the um event because there's gonna be liquor there and all that other stuff so um we'll see we will see but yeah I definitely want to take them all there just bring a chaperone for cadence yeah i'm i have um okay i have so much stuff i got planned planned and going on for that so i have um somebody really close to me that's going to be my assistant and they're going to fly out with me so i'm thinking that can be her chaperone for a while i'm doing mom grown mom grown woman shit not mom shit grown woman shit and then me and cadence can still do like our little thing and have like our little mom our little mom and daughter time too they fine okay they just playing in the room but uh let the kids be kids like no but i like sometimes having a drink or two with someone in a public setting because i want to know what you really think because you know you know that old saying uh drunk mind speaks a sober mind or so a drunk man speaks a, whatever drunk tongue whatever speaks a sober man's thoughts or whatever because that shit is so true for men and women for people in general but um I, he was saying something about um like his preference of women and um his preference of women was like he was saying something like his preference of women is like, he's like, I usually go for more slim women, is what he said. And I, I caught it and I was like, oh, you like slim women. You like slim bitches. Well, baby, we ain't, we can't talk because as you can see, and then he tried to cover it up and be like, oh, no, 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 like, you know, like slim thing, like, you know, I didn't mean like slim, slim, I mean like slim thing, like you, like you, I'm like, nah, baby, I'm fat, okay? He's like, no, no, you're not fat. I'm like, nah, it's okay. There's levels to this shit. Like, I'm not 600 pound life, but bitch, I'm fat, baby, I'm fat. I got rolls, I got love handles, I got dimples in my ass. I'm fat and I love it. And I want a man who loves that. I don't want no man who's like, oh, my normal preference is. Slim women, like I, I don't want to be yo, yo oddball out. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try a bigger woman out so I can see it. Nah, no, nah. Uh-uh. We not, you're not going to test me out. Mm-mm. No. Nah. You're not going to just try to see if I can try something new. It's going to work out for you. I want a man that's like, yeah, this is my preference. I love a thick, voluptuous, stomach hanging down woman. Because that's what I got. I ain't got no slim. Ain't no slim in me. The fuck? Okay. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> and he was like, 
I put him on the spot. He's like, oh, no, you're giving me a hard time. That's not, I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm just clearly not your type. And that's okay. I know I got a fire personality, but you'll never get a call back. <laughs> like, you'll never get a text back. You're on my do not respond list because no the fuck you did. Sit up here and tell me something my face you like slim women and i know you see all this ass hanging over this chair right here okay i know you see it i know you see it <laughs> like stop playing with me okay he was like you could tell he was he tried to he wish he could have ate them words he was like oh no 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 that's not what i no 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 that's what you meant because that's what you said Like, no, you was finished. I heard you. You heard you. We heard each other, okay? We both heard you say it. It came out your mouth. Why do men do that? Like, don't waste my fucking time. <laughs> like, I look way too good to be having dates with men who are not sure about your preference. Like, we are in our 30s, baby. You need to know these things. I should not have to tell you that you don't, that your preference is slim women. You knew that. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Okay, <laughs> getting to sit or getting dressed, getting pretty, taking my time out of my busy, hectic life to, to go on a date with somebody who likes skinny bitches. Okay, so <laughs> I love skinny women myself. I'm just saying, I love all people. I'm just saying, you guys, nothing against skinny women because then somebody's gonna be like, Chrissy hates skinny women. It's like, <laughs> I got a good shape. I got a nice shape considering I had nine kids. If I wouldn't have had nine kids, I might, I might be skinny. But I'm not, and I love my body. So don't try to play with me. Don't try to play with me. You're not going to make me, uh-uh, that was a red flag. So needless to say, I never talked to him again after that. <sighs> but <laughs> I have a whole bunch of funny stories, y'all. When it comes to dating and just life in general, my life is hilarious. Like literally shit is hilarious. Whether it be the kids, whether it be dating, whether it be friends, whether it be family. Like I just have funny ass stories like or just crazy shit like all the time, all the time. <laughs> I'm not having, I'm not. Not, it's not hating skinny women. It's just I can't relate, right? Speak on what you can relate to, right? Chrissy had me rolling when she said, "Cause stomach hanging down." Cause that's what I got. It is though. Like I usually like slim women. You only got to tell me once you like a slim woman because you know damn well I'm not slim. Okay. I got fat everywhere. Okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that shit was funny though. I was like, oh no, it's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said it. But um, yeah, I think that was the last like funny like situation type date I've been on. I've been on a couple dates. Um, yeah, I've been on a couple dates. It's it's been fun. It's been fun. It's like a hobby. It's something to do in my in my free time and to get out the house and be an adult and stuff like that, but Chrissy, would you date white men or uh white men or of other races I'm about to consider? You know what? Yes. I went on a date recently with a white man, but he was a he was a white man with flavor though. So he was like a caramel caramel squirrel. <laughs> Normal swirl. Um, very nice guy, but basically acted like hood. So mm, not really my type. Not my new type. I've changed my type now. I'm just joking. Facts, you want someone who loves indoors you right. Would you, wait, I read that one. Exactly, that's how they end up creeping, trying to find what they want. No, thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm for real. Caramel delight. <laughs> you guys, what happened to the one who pissed you off? Which one? Because they all be making me mad. 
I was telling my sister that the other day. I was like, you know, I have realized that I just, I just don't like men. Like I, a majority of them, I don't like them because they're all the same. And I think I actually told one of my guy friends this the other day because we were talking about, um, I think he was venting to me about his baby mama. And, Woo you know, child. I have a couple of guy friends that do that. They'll call me and we'll talk, you know, whatever. And they'll be like, and it's not, it's platonic, nothing sexual or romantic. And And he was venting about, I've known him forever. And he was venting about his baby mama. And I was telling him like, you know, cause sometimes I guess men just want to hear a woman's perspective. Just like sometimes I want to hear a man's perspective. And I'm just like, you know, men just make me sick. Y'all are just sick, man. Y'all are just sickening. I think the situation was, I won't tell his business, but he don't watch me, I don't think. But um, if he ever does, sorry. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but um, he was basically, I guess, just saying like they were trying to work things out. But like she, I guess because he had cheated on her in the past, like when he tried to work things out with her, she wasn't receptive. Like she should have been. And I'm just like, you know, in a way, I understand that. But at this point, you guys need some therapy or something because, like, I've been there. When I was married to my ex, y'all, he cheated on me the first year we were together before we even got married. And I thought being married, getting married was going to fix that pro that hurt or whatever and kind of, like, show me all right, you serious. You're, you want to be loyal. You want to be, you know, you want to be attached for life, locked down for life. And it really did not stop anything or pr prove anything or help anything. So that was me being stupid, getting married for the wrong reasons. But you know what I'm saying? And what I told him was like, we spent, uh, you know, even after I took him back and decided, okay, we're going to stay together. We spent the next three years <laughs> trying to get back what was lost originally from him stepping out before we even got married. So it was a waste of everybody's time. You know what I'm saying? There was lack of trust, lack of communication, lack of all of that. And it just got progressively worse because we, we didn't have the tools to fix that shit. And I was like still hurt by the shit that had happened. And it just was like, we lost something that we just couldn't get back. And that's a lot of couples. That's why when, you know, it, I don't know how people do it because I have not ever successfully done it and God willing, I'll never go through that again. But I mean, I know I hear stories of couples getting through like infidelity and stuff like that and being able to work past it. It's got to take a lot of work. But my first thing would always be therapy. I offered my ex therapy and he was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want any outside people in my business judging me, blah, 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 blah. So we never did it. But had we done it, maybe things had turned out different. But, um, you know. It's just like, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with therapy. There's nothing wrong with, you know, um, getting help to like get past it, you know, or whatever. Are you doing Christmas shopping video this year? I look forward to yours every year. Uh, I might do what I got my kids for Christmas video, but I'm not sure. We'll see. My kids are getting a lot of stuff that they need this year um, and a few things of what they want, but I might still show you guys. Yeah, but so anyway, but men just get on my fucking nerve in general. I'm just like, you guys all just suck. All of you are the same generally. But I also talked to my friend about that too because I was telling, well, I told my sister this is a separate conversation, but it's different when you have it with a man. Men don't like to hear that women don't like men or whatever. And I'm, I like men because I like men, but I just don't like how they act. And that's a problem. Like, that's that's a problem. But now I'm getting too fucking old to be playing these childish ass games with these men. I, I don't have time. I would, I would rather be single. Like I, I need my, and another thing that I recently realized is I like my fucking space. I like my space. I don't, I don't want to see you every day. I don't have time for that. You get on my nerve. You're in my face. You like, I just like my space. And I used to think, I used to be the opposite. I used to like need attention like constantly. And now that I'm older and been through shit, some shit, I just like, you know what? 
I'm good. I'll see you when I see you. You busy? Good. I'm busy too. I'll see you when I see you. As long as, you know, like if I'm dating somebody and I'm dating somebody like exclusively, I don't mind making time to see that person more often, but you ain't got to spend the night. I don't have to spend the night. We don't have to do that. I will see you when I see you because I need my space. <laughs> my ex I ain't give nobody else a chance until I met my girlfriend men just ain't for me you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm not even mad at that if a girl walked into my life might change my mind too because shit men just get on my nerve you guys make me sick but then I hear women ain't shit either so you really just gotta find a person whoever your person is that's who you just gotta find because people just ain't shit in general I'm divorced and was married. It was horrible because of his unresolved issues and he refused therapy. I'm all about therapy and healing. I'm resolved trauma. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to heal, heal that trauma because if you don't, even like women leaving one relationship, like if you went through a lot during that relationship, therapy. I wish I would have did therapy after my ex because that shit broke me and I didn't think it was going to because I was so fed up but you like I said like I went through so much y'all saw me I went through so many different emotions and levels and just so much shit and I'm like I should have really went to therapy I didn't even think about it, it wasn't even on my mind I was trying to survive because the bitch was out here in the trenches okay so but um yeah I really should have went to therapy though but and then it probably would have saved me from feeling like I can hurry even find somebody to be with because I don't want to be by myself type syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Like that I don't want to be alone forever type thing. Yeah, just like that's with anything. Like there, there are some good men. But you know what they say? They taking her gay. Like they're taken or they're gay what the fuck or sometimes they're on the dl sometimes they're on the dl and you know what that's another thing y'all i'm just running my mouth we're gonna get off of here pretty soon but that's another thing that i noticed too is like men who are on the dl they are very homophobic very homophobic and now that i think about it like now that i'm very aware of that like I've dated some DL men. I swear to God. Like any man that is like completely obsessed with homosexual men and like everything is like propaganda. And I mean, you know, everybody has their own conspiracy theory about homosexuality and stuff like that. And that's I'm not going to get into that here today, but what I'm saying is that like, I've had a couple exes that were very, very homophobic and they don't even know that they're homophobic. I'm like, dude, you're homophobic. You are homophobic. Like you, you are. And they're like, no, 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 I don't got a problem. Just, just don't bring that shit over here. It's like, I can promise you that they don't want your ass. I can promise you. Why do men think that all gay men want them? Cause you really want that. That's really what you like. That's what I, I swear to God. I swear to God, like that's the vibe that I get. I Every time I talk to some man and a man has a problem with another man's sexuality, you're gay. You're gay. You're on, you don't even know you're gay. You're just gay. I'm just telling you. I don't have a problem with it. That's just what you really like. I'm just letting you know. One day you're going to wake up and realize it. I'm just letting you know. Like, it's just crazy. And I think I remember hearing this on TikTok like maybe a year ago. A guy said the same. He was a gay guy. He was like, I will tell you how, you're, how I know your man is gay. And he said that like if they are very homophobic or like against gays in general or like do too much, they're gay. And I'm like, thank you because I already knew that. It's my older child's dad is a bomb ass man, dad in person, but it was just not for me. Yeah, they did definitely, they definitely be on the DL. I'm trying to tell you that DL is just a major factor now. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> the 
Did y'all hear about Little Fizz on the internet today? It's all over the internet. I'm not even going to talk about it, but I was very disturbed because Little Fizz was my favorite member of B2K. That was my baby in my mind. That was my boyfriend. That was my boo when I was in middle school. And I'm like, he's been on some weird shit ever since. And now I'm an adult. I'm like, you, you are, um, you're a little iffy with you. Hold on. What the fuck? The boys are never this quiet. I was like, did y'all hear? Did you hear? Listen. The fuck? I was like, wait a minute. Are they breathing? Because what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, are you okay? He's like, yes. I'm like, okay, they're just watching their tablet. I'm like, okay. Damn. This is a unicorn moment. I think I got a few extra minutes to spend with y'all because this never happens. They deserve a treat. <laughs> then they'll be bouncing off the damn walls. Y'all, I regretted giving them them candy buckets the other day. I gave my kids them candy buckets and I was like, it's the weekend. Have at it. Girl, these motherfuckers did not drop until like 1.30 in the morning. They was, they had so much energy. They didn't even know what to do with themselves. I was like, I will never, never give them that much access to candy again. That was, a, it was too much. Um, Kim girl, yes. And after the whole, don't be mad when you decided to stay with him and he not trying to touch you and get close. Right? Thank you, bottoms up. Yes, no, women have to listen to what they say and not what they want to hear. Example, he likes slim women. Exactly. Because most, mo like, back in, I mean, even a year ago, I probably would have took that and laughed it off. Like, slap slim women. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm thick. You better like that. You know, whatever. Now I'm like, mm -hmm. you like slim women, huh? Okay. All right. Um. So, yeah. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Um, but she heard me say New York on the phone the other day. And I think I was talking to my mom. And she was like, uh, sorry, New York? Did you just say New York? She's like, please, mom, I'm begging you. Please take me. And I'm like, okay, Cadence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come down. She's like on the floor. Please, mom, please. I want to go so bad. I'm like, okay. Take this girl to New York, girl. Okay. She needs to go. So, yeah, I probably take my baby with me as long as I have somebody with her while I'm doing other stuff. So, it's going to be in January. And I will let you guys know when in January when I like get a solid date hopefully by the end of this week but I'm thinking it's gonna be the end of January probably like the last Saturday in January I think that's like the 28th or something like that so uh, when I posted my video I was thinking mid-January but with other stuff I have going on and just the way like I need time to promote and all this other stuff and like plan and coordinate with the company. Like I need more time. Um, so I think we're gonna go with the last Saturday in January. So, cause we don't wanna wait too long. You know, it's a, it's, it's a collaboration. So it's not like I'm just, if I was planning this myself, I might wait till the summer. That way I could lose a few more plant pounds. So I could be more, when y'all see me, you know what I'm saying? In the mid tummy area, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lose the pounds. Okay. Be a little bit more flat in the front and fat in the back. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> but because it's a collaboration with the company, I really, like, they told me I could pick a time, but... They ain't trying to do it within the next month or so. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, long enough to plan and promote, but not, like, too long to where it's, like, a long, drawn-out event. So, you know, and it's cool. I mean, and I don't really have to do nothing but show up 
and look beautiful and meet you guys. So I think, and you know what I was thinking too? I think that we can make this into like a really, like a, it's a party, but like a really cool like networking event because you know, I have content creator friends who I'm inviting. There's going to be content creators, I'm sure, who are going to want to come. So, like, we, we can all mingle, have fun, and, you know, network while we're there. You know what I'm saying? And it goes with the money thing because we all trying to get this back. We're trying to get to the paper. You feel me? Um, okay, that's why I asked, right? You already slim, thick girl. Girl, I'm just thick. I am just thick. I had went on this date the other day, y'all. Okay, now now that I'm done with makeup, we can get spicy. I had went on this date a little a couple weeks ago. I had went on this date a couple weeks ago, and I was talking to this guy. And I posted something on my Instagram the other day, and it was like, you know what? One red flag, and I'm running. I'm running the other direction. I not looking over anybody's red flags anymore do you hear me if you got a red flag you ain't got to tell me once you ain't, i don't gotta wait to see i uh, know bye okay hell no nah. okay we, you know and here's another thing y'all if we being for real for real we having a little girl chat okay i used to be like when okay how far do i want to take this when you have when you're a single mother and you have children, especially like for someone like me, if you have like over three kids, four or five, and like me, I have nine children. Like, I think that subconsciously, even when you have a, like, even when you are very confident, like me, I'm very confident, even with dating, I'm confident. I'm, I have to be care more careful because I made a lot of mistakes before. Like I said, overlooking red flags and stuff like that, being taken advantage of because I was a single mom and stuff like that. But that's all another lie for another whole other day. But... Like, I think even subconsciously, you start to think, like, I can't get much better than this. Or I need, to, I need to settle for something because who else is going to want to date me because yada, yada, yada. You just subconsciously start believing those things that people try to spew at you with, with hatred. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know. But anyway, now I'm in a better headspace to where it's like, we're a package deal period. But, you know, doesn't mean you're going to meet my kids right off the bat, but we're a package deal. And if you have a problem with it, then you're not the type of person that I want to pursue anyway, because I can't shove my kids back up where they came from. So I can't hide them. I can't shove them in a closet and hide them. So this is what it is. But, um, I've literally never told anybody that I had nine children and then then be like, I just can't fuck with you. There, I mean, there's been some times where we didn't continue to date, but it was not, I don't think it was because of the kids, it was because of other things, but. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, once you, once you value yourself more, you start to pick better. And then like red flags, uh -uh. So I was with this, let me get back to my story now. So I was, um, I went on a date a couple weeks ago with this one guy and we had, it was fire. Like the conversation was there. Like it was dope, right? And we had some drinks. We were out at a bar. We had some drinks. And um, we were talking and I love, I don't love drinking with like a date, but I like, hold on one second, y'all, hold on. And see, like me, even me, I have a preference too. Like I, I don't like skinny men. I ended up with skinny men, but I don't like skinny men. I like men that have a little something to hold on to. I don't want to be the biggest person in, in this relationship. I need you to have a little something. I want to rub your stomach, okay? I need to have some some arms, some arms to grab onto. I need to feel like, mm. you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is a skinny man going to do for me? I can't protect you. I need you to protect me. Like, I like, I like a man with a little better. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I, like I said, I, I will settle and end up with certain people that don't really match that. But now, I want a thick man. You don't have to be big, big, big. But I don't even care. Like, I don't even care really what you look like. As long as you are attractive to me, you can dress, you smell good, you have really good hygiene, you're smart. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. You don't have to have a million dollars, but you definitely have to have 
goals and you have to be on the way to that. I'm not taking any more. Oh, well, I got a dream and a, and a dollar. Uh, mm, man, at this in your 30s, that ain't gonna work for me. Like, you gotta have everything on. You have to be able to do your own to hold your own. Uh uh, ain't no more of that for me. This is our commentary under the Fair Use Act. It is used for starting of discussions, also used for entertainment purposes.